die. It was just like a Sharpie marker. A Sharpie you know what I'm talking about? Like a Sharpie marker, like you get, get the library out of the bucket. Yeah. Out of the bucket. And I just kind of just, just wrote it like... <laughs> be like that. 58-year-old Mark Townsend calls it freedom of expression. St. Pete police call it illegal. Good evening, everyone. I'm Josh Benson. And I'm Jennifer Lee. Thank you for joining us. Officers arrested Townsend, accusing him of writing graffiti on the sidewalk in front of the police department. News Channel 8's Chip Osowski joins us now live from the Pinellas County Jail, where you obviously just interviewed Townsend. Yes, I did. And he tells me that he was shocked when officers put those handcuffs on him. He says he's done this type of thing before in other locations, and claims there's never been any problem. Well, it wasn't like I was trying to do nothing malicious. I knew there was cameras there. So, and I just, and I saw the writing and stuff like that on other streets. So Mark Townsend decided to deliver his message on the sidewalk in front of the St. Petersburg Police Department, writing BLM and black people, a people of integrity. To you, this was not vandalism. No. This was no. not graffiti. No, it wasn't. This it was, was a just, message. It was a message. It was a protest. But police disagree, saying that the graffiti could not be removed with simple solvents and had to be ground off. The cost to replace the damaged sidewalk is pricey. In order to replace um, the sidewalk, it's going to cost us roughly $26,000. Some in the black community appreciate Townsend's message, but wonder if this was the proper venue to display it. I do think that everybody is entitled to freedom of speech, but I do also feel like this is vandalism. Um, what people don't realize is the more they mess up, the more we have to come behind and clean up, meaning that taxpayers will have to pay for this. No, I think freedom of speech is important. I do feel like this is vandalism. This is a beautiful building. It was just built for our city. Townsend simply hopes his message will not disappear as quickly as his artwork did. I do love my black culture deeply, so, you know, and nothing against other ones, but I just love mine, and I think we have to be more pronounced about who we are so we can share our culture by saying, because we haven't done enough. And Townsend appeared before a judge earlier this afternoon. That judge left his bond at 2150 and told them that he could return to the St. Petersburg Police Department, but not to commit any crimes. Reporting live in Pinellas County, I'm Chip Osowski, 8 on your side.